November 6th, 2038 at 3.02 p.m. Greetings everyone, it's Dixme here and welcome back to my channel and welcome back to Detroit Become Human. We have to reconsole with Hank. Let's try to do this. By the way, if you're interested in some Assassin's Creed, don't mind to hang over to Assassin's Creed Mirage. Last shit hot tip you gave me sent me back a week's wages. Come on, this is different. It's a hundred percent guaranteed. You can't go wrong. So let's check who is he? Petro Abdar, born 2005, unemployed, criminal record, illegal gambling, fraud. And he is Gary Case. Oh, there was a way or a dialogue. Business owner, criminal record. Uh, resisting arrest, breach of hiking regulations. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> All right, I'm in. Damn straight. Hey, you won't regret this. What is your problem? Don't you ever do as you're told? Look, you don't have to follow me around like a poodle. Now that we're partners, I thought it would be a good idea to get to know each other better so we can work as a team. We are not partners. I am a human. You are a machine. So just spare me that buddy of bullshit program, okay? Here you go. Uh Something new here? Oh. Hamburger and some XL soda, pineapple passion. Ooh. Thanks, Gary. I'm starving. Don't leave that thing here. Huh, not a chance. Follows me everywhere. That's correct, buddy. See? This Pedro, he was proposing illegal gambling. Am I right? Yeah. And you made a bet? Yeah. Yeah. Your meal contains 1.4 times the recommended daily intake of calories and twice the cholesterol level. You shouldn't eat that. Everybody's got to die of something. Oh. Some points up. Uh, about Connor. Is there anything you'd like to know about me? Hell no. Well, yeah. Um, why do they make you look so goofy and give you that weird voice? Cyberlife androids are designed to work harmoniously with humans. Both my appearance and voice were specifically designed to facilitate my integration. Well, they fucked up. Deviants. Maybe I should tell you what we know about deviants. You read my deviants? Mind. Proceed. We believe that a mutation occurs in the software of some androids, which can lead to them emulating a human emotion. In English, please. They don't really feel emotions. They just get overwhelmed by irrational instructions, which can lead to unpredictable behavior. Emotions always screw everything up. The androids aren't as different from us as we thought. <laughs> Can I ask you a personal question, Lieutenant? Why do you hate androids so much? I have my reasons. You ever dealt with deviants before? A few months back, a deviant was threatening to jump off the roof with the little girl. 
I managed to save her. So I guess you've done all your homework, right? Know everything there is to know about me? Uh, uh, proof? I know you graduated top of your class. You made a name for yourself in several cases and became the youngest lieutenant in Detroit. Mm -hmm. I also That's correct. You've received several disciplinary warnings in recent years, and you spend a lot of time in bars. That's also correct. So what's your conclusion? The conclusion is you are cool. I know you're an experienced officer, and I'd like to earn your trust. I'm sure we can solve this case if we manage to work together. For sure. Yes, points up with I Hank. just got a report of a suspected deviant. It's a few blocks away. We should go have a look. I'll let you finish your meal. I'll be in the car if you need me. You slurp on your soda. Hey, Connor. You run out of batteries or what? I'm sorry. I was making a report to Cyberlife. Uh. Well, do you plan on staying in the elevator? No. I'm coming. Question the suspect. Hey, what do we know about this guy? Not much. Just that a neighbor reported that he heard strange noises coming from this floor. Nobody's supposed to be living here, but the neighbor said he saw a man hiding an LED under his cap. Edoras, Columbia, Olivia, Rock, begin. Oh Christ, if we have to investigate every time somebody hears a strange noise, we're gonna need more cops. Hey, were you really making a report back there in the elevator? Correct. Anybody home? Open up, Detroit police! Stay behind me. Got it. Hank, one moment. I have to read the magazine. Red Eyes Epidemic, the latest narcotic crisis to ravage Detroit. The synthetic stimulant, informally known as Red Eyes, has become the drug of choice for Detroit's growing underclass. Analysts have pointed to Detroit's status as the epicenter of android production, suggesting the drug flourishes in the dis dissatisfaction caused by androids taking human jobs. Sociologist Dr. Julian Carter has drawn the same link with androids. As cyberlife's androids spread across the country, they will bring red eyes with them. Poor men and women, desperate to make ends meet, are vulnerable to become users or even dealers. Not only is the popularity of this drug spreading rapidly, but its chemical composition is unquietly dangerous. Oh, no, is un uniquely dangerous. I'm sorry. Theorem, the main ingredient in Android Blue Blood is among the active agents in red eyes and has a highly destabilizing effect on hormone production. The National Association for Narcotic Prevention say the problem is going to get worse. The purity of ingredients is very low and deteriorating. America's biggest narcotics industry is only likely to grow. Red eyes dealers are reported to have an unofficial motto. Where the blood is blue, the eyes is red, and the money is green. Yeah, I guess so. And green earth. Past the tipping point. Earth's environment officially beyond repair. Environmentalists have long warned us about a tipping point, the moment at which global warming reaches a level that is irreversible. Scientists are now saying we have officially passed it. Global rainforests have been reduced by 79% since 2000 and coastal currents by 58%. Polar ice has made it to such an extreme 
extent that rising sea levels have many states struggling to keep the water off of the coastal towns. With these cooling factors so diminished, there will be no too much carbon in the atmosphere for the environment to ever absorb. Jason Rees, head of the Global Environment Agency, said this study confirms what many of us have suspected for a long time, but the real calamity is the linked decline of natural resources, from energies to minerals which are almost exhausted and can never be replaced. Many environmentalists have criticized Rees' comments on discouraging people from taking action, but Rees has defied the criticisms. It's important people accept the reality of the situation. The planet will keep getting hotter now. The only question is how fast. That's kind of true. So, here it is. Something like we have to deal today as well. What the fuck is this? Yeah, what the fuck is this? Right. Uh. Jesus, this place stinks. Well, looks like we came for nothing. Our man's gone. <laughs> right, the poster I want to check at the end. Suspect doesn't eat. Suspect cares for wild animals. What else do we got here? Military jackets can hand initials RT. RT. Probably initials. He put his initials in his jacket? That's something your mom does. Fake ID, Travis license. Name Rupert Travis. Travis license is fake. Cool. At least we didn't come for nothing. Uh, let's take. I don't know. Here, let's take the. I don't know which one to go first. Maybe we don't get the book. Any idea what it means? RA9. Written 2,471 times. It's the same sign Ortiz's android wrote on the shower wall. Why are they obsessed with this sign? Looks like mazes or something. This is compulsive writing. Look. Blah. Blue blood model WB two hundred. Ah, Jesus, I hate these things. On. By a component. Its LED is in the sink. Not surprised it was an android. No human could live with all these fucking pigeons. Real books. I thought I was the last guy. So that's some um, urban farm poster. And here we got poster corner. And it right. some electronic books, you can't smell the paper. See the pages turning yellow. You have no idea what I'm talking about, do you? Found something? I don't know. It looks like a notebook, but it's indecipherable.
Opened marker pen. And a wooden stool. Suspect was here recently. Suspect ran to the living room. We got here some finger marks recon, uh, recent. Metal hook recently broken, 100% stainless steel. And some skid mark recent. Recent. Suspect ran a toward entrance. Suspect hard as enter enter and here suspect is still here Time to choose. We just ran. Oh no. Back on track. That's what we need. Look out. Sorry, we have to go through. Say thank for sure. Oh shit. oh shit! We had it. Fuck. It's my fault. I should have been faster. You'd have caught it if it weren't for me. That's all right. We know what it looks like. We'll find it. Hey, Connor. Nothing. All right. And that should give us a trophy here. Yes, save Hank. I saved Hank and I've still forgot something here as well. Uh, maybe, 
maybe, maybe, uh, if we don't get, or if we don't find Rupert, so uh, this chapter ends here, and yeah, we got here, Rupert got away, or Rupert uh, get captured by us, if we don't save Hank. And if we hear on gaining on Rupert, uh, if we uh, don't press the quick time event, uh, Connor will die. So we basically see that on our second playthrough here of Detroit. What is here with join Hank? Be frank with Hank, warn Hank about. Cholesterol. Oh, the, that's uh, the 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 uh, fast food uh, stuff there. All right, all right, all right. So let's continue with our next chapter. November sixth, uh, five thirteen p.m. Hello, guys. Hi, Marcus. Fugitives, just like you. My name is Josh. I'm Simon. North. A refuge. I don't understand. I thought Jericho was a place where androids lived in freedom. We do live in freedom. It may not be what you hoped for, but here we have no master. We don't belong to anybody. Three. And hiding just to stay alive, that's freedom to you? Humans hate us. Hiding is the only way we can survive. There is no safe place for those like us. If humans knew we were here, they'd kill us. Here, for sure. Jericho. This is Jericho? It's a refuge for those who don't want to be slaves anymore. I understand how you feel. But we have more freedom here than you ever did. You're kinder. I am lost. I came to Jericho looking for hope. Looks like I'm not gonna find any here. You're lost. Just like the rest of us. We didn't ask for this. All we can do now is deal with it. You're safe here. You can stay with us as long as you want. Go and see Lucy. She might be able to help you. Yeah, we hear her voice. So we got find Lucy, explore Cherico. So we explore Cherico. We have a lot to do here. That's sad. It's very sad. But I still don't get it where got Marcus the lighter. He just grabs that out of his bag, but... <laughs> streets before we brought him here. 
They'll all shut down if we don't find a way to help them. To help them, we need blue blood and bio components. We salvage what we can from those who shut down. But there's never enough. So, how do they survive? They won't. We're slowly dying out. Here, sadly. Sadly, we are slowly dying, but... There was one... Ah, he... He tells us about a car accident. Am I right? They don't talk to me? Not really? Yeah, you won't shut down. I'm pretty sure you won't. Can I enlighten this? Yes. Can I start a fire here as well? No, it's closed. Uh, we can talk to North again. Time here. How long have you been here? Four weeks, three days, eleven hours. When I escaped, there was nowhere else to go. Jericho seemed as good a place as any. Jericho. Who found this place? Nobody knows anymore. Whoever he was, his body's probably lying somewhere on this boat. Uh, I am wounded. A lot of these guys in pretty bad shape. That's how the humans treat those who disobey. They despise us. I'll never accept what we are. If you came here for comfort, you came to the wrong place. Here. So we got here. That stuff. The chests. Already emptied. Several life warehouse on docks, West Torrance Avenue, Detroit. Calculating a route. A God Cherry Co Explorer. Can we talk to Simon as well? No. Are you Lucy? It's 
Sit down. Show me. Where do we got it uh, when we fall off from? I'll stop the bleeding. Drink this. But I don't want to. Others have more need of it. You had it all, and you lost it all. You've seen hell, and now hell lives in you. Your heart is troubled. A part of shadow and a part of light. Which will prevail? Your choices will shape our destiny. Our choices. Simon. I know where we can find spare parts. Cyber Life Warehouse is in Detroit Harbor. They have everything we need. The docks are guarded. We can't just walk in there and take what we want. Humans will never let us. Which is why we won't ask permission. We don't have any weapons. And even if we did, none of us knows how to fight. We can steal what we need without fighting. We'll just get ourselves killed. Maybe. But it's better than waiting here to be shut down. I'm with you. Maybe it's worth a try. Okay. I'm in. Perfect. That's the end of the... Chapter. And that's a really, really short chapter. And the Jericho, time to decide. All right. But with that, I say thank you very much for joining in today. And we see us on the next episode. Until then, cheers.